Welcome, everybody, to Q&A number five. Number five. It's uh, been a while since we did a Q&A. It's been a while since we've done a video. We managed to put quite a, uh, quite a site up in uh, fathersalphabet.com. Yes, so since our last Q&A, we've put up the website. Um, we have put up a full Paleo Hebrew Bible. A timeline. A, yeah, lots, lots oh, of resources lots, up there for lots, you guys. All free to use, which uh, brings us to the, what's the newest thing on there? So we actually had a question come in from mm -hmm. a viewer who asked, could you do a video with the Ten Commandments in Paleo Hebrew? I would like to see it like it would have appeared on stone. Well, uh, just so happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, we, we're starting off with a surprise. We have just placed the Ten Commandments in original Hebrew Paleo, along with helps and uh, free downloads. Yes, so there's something on the, yeah. on the website for you guys. Um, it shows the Ten Commandments as they would have appeared on stone. I'm sure in, in Father's handwriting, it would have looked a lot better than uh, we could put together. But we, we do what we can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do what we can. And, and it, it comes with a word per word uh, study guide so that you can actually read along to the Ten Commandments. On our website, fathersalphabet.com, if you click the downloads page and scroll down a bit, you will see where we have the Ten Commandments in Paleo Hebrew. So I'm going to click this download link here and open it up. It's written in the scriptures that Moses was given two tablets and that each tablet had writing on the front and on the back. So this would be a representation of the first tablet and here's the front side and the back side. And this would be the second tablet, front side and back side. Um, we've included a word per word guide so that you can read along to these tablets. And here's kind of how it works. Um, as you probably know, Hebrews read from right to left. So you would start here in this corner and make your way this way and then down to the next line. And on the, the word per word um, translation that we have here, you'll see this first word is Anoki. Anoki which means I am. The second word is our father's name, Yohe Vohe, and you'll see it here. This third word would be Elohecha. Elohecha. And that means your God. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll see an alphabet chart that we've included just in case you need a refresher on any of the letters. And then here is the, um, the word per word translation and um, pronunciation aid so that you guys can read along to the tablets. What I've been doing with this resource personally is I printed the whole thing out and I look at the, the stone and I use this guide here to read along to it. So you'll see that we have um, each commandment with the, uh, the King James Version. And right at the top here, it says this is stone one, the front side. So if you keep going, you'll see that's all stone one, and this is stone one in the back. So we'll take a look at the first commandment together, which in the King James Version, it reads, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now, if you were to look at that in Hebrew, the literal translation of the words would be here. And it reads, I am Yohevohe, your God, who brought you out from the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, not shall have to you God's other before my face. So the Hebrew words are Anoki, I am, Yohevohe, Elohe Ha, your God, Asher, who hots eticha brought you out me eretz from the land meets raim of egypt me bait from the house a vadim of bondage lo 
which means no or not. So lo, not, ye, ye, shall have, lecha, to you, Elohim, gods, ach, herim, other, al, before, pa, naya, my face. So there's your Ten Commandments for the question. Yes, there they are. And and uh, yes, I'll uh, we'll work on a video for it too. Read them out to you. What do we have for the next uh, Q and A? So the next question is we've we've had a couple people ask us if we could write their names out in Paleo Hebrew. Oh my goodness! The first person who asked to see his name in Paleo is named Gabriel. That happens to be a Hebrew. Yes. <laughs> Originally Hebrew. Yeah. So that is Gemel Beit. Resh, Aleph, Lamet, Gabor, Gabor is like David's mighty man. They were they were Gibor or Gabor. Yes. And when you add L, it's like a father's Gabor, like David's mighty men. This is uh, this is father's mighty mighty angel, the the archangel. So. It's a great name. Yeah. Gabriel, you got a great name. I wish, <laughs> I wish my name was Gabriel. I was born with Carlos. <laughs> but I will spell that out one day in Paleo, even even my, even the Carlos name. Yeah, great name. Proper name, masculine, awesome name. So the next one, uh, the next person who asked to see her name in Paleo Hebrew is Deborah. Oh, Deborah the, the prophetess. Yes. So let's take a look at Deborah the prophetess. And so the root word for the name Deborah is the word Dabar, which means word. It, it does mean word. Yeah. Here's so Deborah. It's a proper name. It's feminine because uh, it's got the hay at the end. Yes. So The letter hay is added to a lot of words to make a word feminine. Yes, Used indeed. for other things, but that's one use of it. That's the major one. Uh, Dalit, bait. Resh, hey, da, ba, ra, word, but uh, in a feminized mode. That's a prophetess. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, looking forward to the future. Father sending uh, people to help us for the time coming. Uh, he says, uh, I'll, I'll raise you up your, uh, your prophets and your, and your prophetesses. And the guys with the long hair, the Nazarenes. Yeah. I'll raise up Nazarenes. And uh, they'll guide us through what's coming. So I, I, uh, for those of you out there, uh, Maranatha, the world is changing, Father's coming. Maranatha. I love it. Maranatha. The next question is for you because uh, there's a person who very strongly disagrees with something that you had to say in one of the episodes, which is that um, there will be, Father is not raising up an end times army that will be fighting the Antichrist. Oh, correct. I'm Carlos. I am a U.S. Marine. So, uh, no, I'm not afraid to fight. However, uh, the the beast, the beast is here to do a job. Uh, Israel, uh, Judah in particular, owes seven years to the beast uh, for for the sake of all flesh on earth and and the uh, and the saints, he's cut the the bad time to three and a half years. Now, are we gonna uh, join an army and raise an army like uh, U.S. Marine Corps? Uh, if whoever does goes on his own accord, you're not allowed to defeat the beast. Only the light of our Messiah, with, upon his coming, can destroy this uh, this being. This being here is. This being is sent here to do a job to finish, finish a, a punishment that's owed to him for the our people not letting the, the land rest for seventy years and uh, making putting the poor in jail. <laughs> so don't be mean to the poor. So yes, he's here to do a job, and anyone who thinks uh, they could defeat the beast, well, uh, I won't stop you. You know, it, it just says you want to go, go, but you go on your own accord. Uh, we know what happens. The beast is undefeatable until he meets father. So I don't, if he wants to fight, go ahead. But no, 
You're uh, you're to leave that alone. You you have the angels. You have the principalities. You got the prophets. You got everyone there. You are you are to what? You are to be taken away to the wilderness. It says an eagle comes, grabs the woman, takes the woman to the wilderness for a times, a times, and a half a times where she's nourished and fed. Anyone who, who, who is a believer in Yeshua as their Savior and who, whom has, who has been accepted by him and moves in him and lives with him is going to be taken and protected by Father. He's, this, this Antichrist coming, uh, it's, it's, it's not a time where you're running for your life from him constantly. He's going to hide you, protect you, and keep you from the face of the evil one, of course. You know, same same as that we would for our own children. So it's 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 a wrath upon the world, but not for us. And are we going to form an army? Some men will, but uh, you will certainly not overcome the Antichrist. That will only be uh, by the coming of his light when he shows. I hope that I uh, hope that does it. Now I understand that uh, that uh, we are going to take the land back. So I understand what he means by the Psalms one forty nine. But it'll be it'll be through the through the power of God, not by us shooting at the Antichrist army. Right. So it'll it'll be by the Spirit, not by uh, not by might. I hope I hope that helps them understand. Yeah. But uh, but if you want to go fight, oh, go ahead. Yeah. I uh, hope you slow them down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slow them down while uh, we you know yeah. No problem. But but it is a victory for us. It's, this is not a time. Uh, this is not a time that we should. Uh, be afraid of. Be see to it that none of this bothers you. It it, it seems like the there's two camps right now um, among people who do teachings on things like this, and it's either we're going to be raptured, or we're all going to die as martyrs. So get ready to die, you know. <laughs> and there's not really any any in between. Um, people talking about how Father's going to take care of us, how His Spirit is going to be poured out, how you know. Oh no, His be... Spirit is being poured out. He's yeah. He's going to send you judges. He's He's going to send you shepherds. He's going to send you uh, 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 real real shepherds. You know that that are willing to do things for you no matter what, and Father will be with them. That's why. Yeah. So, it'll be a, it'll be a light thing for these people that uh, to take care of you because they have the power of God in them. And yes, He's going to. Now, those of you who believe in the rapture, that uh, that you're going to be taken away before all this starts, uh, okay, uh, we don't believe in that. We believe that we're going to, those that are his are going to be taken into the wilderness and fed and nourished during these times. It says so. Uh, but either way, whatever camp you're from, you're trusting in, in Jesus Christ. Yes. He certainly is not going to let you fall into destruction, no matter which camp you're from. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Peace unto you in the name of Yeshua. Uh, he'll take care of you no matter no matter which one of those you believe. Either way, you're trusting him. Yeah. So we're fine with that. So the next the next question is it's actually a comment and mm -hmm. it's uh it's our first formal complaint. Let me see. Okay, I have watched this a second time now, and although I am not a critical person. I must say, there are a couple of places in this video in which Lucky, Lucky our dog, yes. okay, in which Lucky could have made a cameo appearance. Yes. <laughs> I can I can get over the lack of a new song at the end, but I may need some prayers <laughs> to help me with my Lucky issue. <laughs> All right, let's pray for this Shalom. brother right here. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to put Lucky a little bit. Yeah, we're getting uh, people that want to see Lucky the dog more. So Yeah, Luck Lucky thinks this comment is very cool. Okay, the next one comes to us from our video, Yod. We have someone who says, uh, Am I the only one who sees the fish in the name Yeshua written on the ground at 5.59? Five minutes and 59 seconds. Yeah, so let's look at it. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see a fish. Yeah. yeah. No, no uh, even even uh, just looking at the letters <laughs> looks like a fish. And uh, yeah, 
it reminds us of it. Yeah, I, it did. As soon as she said that. You're not the only one. We uh, we also see it. Yeah. So there you have it. So just some background on the on the fish story in case it's interesting to anyone. Let's, uh, number one, noon does not mean fish. No, it does not. No, it's not. It's noon not. noon is, is the snake. Noon is the snake. So go, go for it. Um, but back in the days in the in the first and second century, the, the legend goes that um, in order to hide their faith, the Christians would would use the symbol of the fish. They would if they would encounter someone who they wanted to see if it was a Christian, it was like a safe contact or not. Uh, they would draw like an arc on the ground. And if the other person drew the bottom arc and completed the fish, then they knew, okay, I can trust this person. It's a believer of Yeshua. Um, and the the reason they used the fish, it's because it was a, a an acronym in Greek. And the acronym stood for Yeshua, Messiah, Son of God, Savior. And Very that good. acronym spells out the word fish in Greek. So that's a little background on that. The next question is something that someone disagrees with. Um, they say, when you all say that anyone can be grafted in and be a part of the 12 tribes and pick any tribe they want to be in, that isn't biblical or true. Why do you think in the Old Testament it lists a family tree so many times? It is a bloodline and promise to the children of Abraham. Everyone isn't experiencing the kingdom of heaven because if it was so, why are there 12 gates for each tribe? And they go on to quote Isaiah 14.2, which says, uh, and The people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Those that lead into captivity slash slavery shall go into slavery. If just anyone can be grafted in, that would that be true justice for the people who suffered here on earth due to enslavement? Uh, number one, I, I like to say something. Uh, when uh, when Father found me and put His Spirit in me, there there is no way I would want to enslave anybody. That's number one. Uh, number two, if if uh, they were put in my care for any reason, I would spoil them. You know, uh, we have the Spirit of God in us. We don't want slaves. We don't want to oppress people. You know, we we want to forgive them. And get over it and move on with uh, what Father wants. Yeah, Yeshua so, is the he's the so ultimate model. He's the ultimate model for less. for how to if 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 you have a, a servant and, and I could argue on the use of that word there, but I'm gonna let you talk after I make one point, which is he is the model. The way he treats his servants is he grabbed a bucket and a towel and started uh, per, washing their feet. Pretty much that's what I would do. Yeah, yeah, pretty much that's what I would do too. So. Uh, I understand what he's saying. Now, those who will not serve God uh, in, in millennium, they'll, they'll be brought in chains. He will rule with a with an iron fist and with a scepter of iron. We understand that. And those who do not serve and will not serve Yeshua must die. But uh, those who do, from any, from any language, any tongue even, any nationality, any, 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 any race all over the world, all of them, 100% included, because he's gonna save some from every, yeah. every, every uh, type of people. Because uh, let's uh, let's quote what the what the what the apostle said. The apostle said, "For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus, Yeshua. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ." There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are you Abraham's seeds. And they, uh, they inherit their heirs uh, according to the promise. So every promise made to the ten tribes is promised to anybody in the world who loves uh, Yeshua, and uh, they'll be able to join a tribe because you'll have to. The whole world has become uh, Israel in the 12 tribes. They're going to have to join one. And anyone who loves a father, because Yeshua gave his blood for their ran, you know, to pay for their sins. And uh, so, yes, they're very dear to father in uh, whatever nation you're from, whatever tongue you're from, we don't care. Um, 
Uh, you're welcome to come with us if, uh, if you're near us. <laughs> but if not, Father, will you see. Father will send you guides and he'll send you people that will guide you through what's coming. Father has not deserted you. I mean, uh, that's anyone who thinks that, uh, no. Yeah, and none, none of yes, his kids are going to be put into any sort of bondage. Yeah, and uh, and uh, uh, let's look at it this way. Uh, those who oppressed us, Father's going to punish yeah, so you know, so it's that easy. If it's, uh, if you if you take a look at that scripture, the uh, she quotes Isaiah fourteen two. If you keep reading in that chapter, it identifies who the oppressor is. It it says it's the king of Babylon and all the children of of wickedness, the ones yep. that he's going to get rid of. And when he gets rid of them, there will be quiet and peace and rest on earth, and everyone's going to be singing, because that that oppression the oppression is, is over. Gone. It's over. Yeah. Yeah, and. Uh, and uh, no, uh, those uh, those who are uh, those who are uh, not loving father, yes, those are going to be uh, they'll be slaves. They'll have to be. They, they're put in chains by father himself. But uh, any anyone who is called by the Spirit of Christ to come into the kingdom, cross over, and be one of his children, yes, it doesn't matter who you are, what language, or what part of the earth. Uh, everyone who's called by Yeshua is his. Yeah, and you become so, you become part of the commonwealth of Israel, as the apostle says. Mm -hmm. um, the prophets say that that you will be joined to Jacob. And I had actually I ran across a teaching that was similar to uh, one of the thoughts in this comment, which is, um, you know, before and this was before Father told us that we were tribes. Mm -hmm. At which point I was a happy... We're Zebulun, by yeah, the way. Yeah, we're Zebulun. Um, I was a happy Gentile when I heard this teaching. Um, and this teaching made me incredibly oh, 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 sad. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. L Lucky, come in. Lucky okay, wants to be sit. on the show. Okay, so, so yeah, I heard this teaching and it made me so sad and I didn't, I didn't understand it. And this person said that um, if any Gentile who comes into the Millennial Kingdom, um, if they're a good Gentile... Like, if you're a good little girl, basically, then you get to be our slaves. Otherwise, you die. And I, I was so sad when I heard that. Um, and so I asked, I asked Father. And the first thing he pointed me to was the scripture that says, Let no foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, The Lord will surely separate me from his people. Because we we become joined to Jacob. It doesn't matter if you're from the nations or exactly. a be, blood relative of Jacob. You're part of Jacob. You be part of Abraham's seed. Yeah, exactly. That's the, that's a good one. So yes, it's 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 this easy. We are we are the natural branches of Israel. We were broken off and we were dry, but now the ten tribes are coming back together. We're being regrafted right to the tree we came from, Yeshua. But there are wild olive olive trees, yeah. and that's every that's every uh, person out there who wants to join from every other culture, tribe, anything. And those are wild olive branches, and they get grafted in to Yeshua. So there you have it. Yes. So there will be some oppressors, maybe, but uh, not for long. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> not for long. Yeah. Okay. Our next one uh, says. Hello, I have a question, please. Do you guys know if it's true the people from the island of Puerto Rico is part of the tribe of Ephraim? Do you guys know about the old scripts on some rocks? Google it there. Much bless. Well, uh, basically, she's saying, uh, or he's saying, whoever it is, do I know that all of Puerto Rico is Ephraim. Some uh, paleo rocks, uh, I guess, somewhere in Utah or like that, right? There, there's a, a few people that have mentioned different places where they've seen paleo rocks. I haven't seen anything that uh, looks, looks looks legit. Looks, looks legit, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we, we 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 understand it's paleo, or actually, it's not even paleo on the rocks. It's uh, it's it's more like at the time of uh, of Hezekiah's tunnel. You know, it's that type of, and it's it's even more modern than that, probably. So yeah. it's too modern to be, to be anything. No, no. But I get it. it's a, uh, it's just writing someone wrote. 
So here it goes. Uh, do you think that all the Puerto Ricans are the tribe of Ephraim, to which I wrote Shalom? The tribes are hidden amongst the different races all around the world, from every country. So some Puerto Ricans are lost tribes and some are not. It's the same with every other race of peoples in the world. Shalom unto Jerusalem. Yeah. Uh, we read in the Bible uh, uh, that uh, every every tribe, that every nation in the world, every nation, is going to attack the land of Syria and waste the land because uh, because among them are the lost tribes of Israel. Among all the nations who. Uh -huh. attacking, yeah. Yep, says says so right in the Bible. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, among them, it tells you clearly where they're at. Yes, there's some in Puerto Rico, and yes, there's some in North Korea, South Korea, Kamchatka, uh, everywhere. Uh, they're scattered all throughout. Father planted us all through the world, but we'll we'll be coming home soon. Yeah. Exactly. So yes, some Puerto Ricans and. Uh, those of you who feel you're you're from the tribe, you, you probably are. Yeah. And the uh, Father's putting you together, bone by bone, piece by piece. It it took us uh, nearly twelve years, of Father showing us signs and miracles, and uh, prophecies with signs, to let us know who we were. So uh, we didn't just sit here and go, oh, let's let's be a tribe. No. Yeah. Just, no. Father not, has spoken us through miracle signs and wonders. Oh. By the way, those who sent prayer requests, uh, uh, hallelujah, Father's answering prayer. Yes. He's healing people. He's answering uh, answering prayer requests and those who have prayer requests. Uh, we have our sister. Yeah, our sister Lisa. Um, so always, always. And Father hears her. If you put a comment on any video, it doesn't matter what video it is, uh, we will get it and um, we will definitely... We'll definitely pray for you. Yeah. Yeah, we... Father hears us and... Uh, and yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll pass the gift on to you. Hallelujah. So uh, we got we got one more question. Uh, thanks for this. I had a dream where I saw a white bull standing in front of me, not harming, but just looking. What could this mean? Uh, this well, was on I, the olive. This is on the olive. Yeah. Now, now uh, here's our answer. Well, if you're one of Father's children, we suggest you take the matter to your local fellowship. Because whenever two or more gather in, his, in Yeshua's name, the Holy Spirit guides them. So if someone has a, if it's from Father, then he'll send the interpretation. But if yeah. it's just a dream, then uh, nothing will happen. And that's where we're at in this matter. Yeah, and if it's not from Father, maybe... Don't go to sleep watching Aleph. I don't know. <laughs> Watch bait instead. Watch bait. Know. There you go. That was from our Aleph video. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I hope you're uh, you're enjoying these. We we do this uh, to bless the father's children. Yes. And uh, again, if you have prayer requests, if you have questions, we usually uh, we try to answer everybody. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So, uh, any questions, send them, and uh, we'll we'll try to answer any prayer requests. Uh, send them, and uh, we will pray for you. Yeah, we had. A, I wanted to say thank you before before we sign out. Um, we had a couple people who wanted to send us a copy of their books. Oh yeah, because uh, they mentioned our channel in in their books, which is very nice. Um, we didn't take the the free copies, but we did go and buy copies of these books to just support them. So. Uh, for those of you who who mentioned us, thank you. It was very cool, and we did order the books. So, well, it, we 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 basically have a a paleo lab laboratory where we <laughs> where we go in and uh, and we're always discussing and looking into the matter and anything that we could glean, anything we could get, we we pass on to you. Yes. So. We've got three episodes left to go on the oh, series. We've got yeah, Rash, forward to Sheen, it. and Tav. You know, most most people that are watching joined us this year in 2023. So you probably don't know that um, we've been working on this series since the beginning of 2021. 
And a lot of work. It's a, it's a lot of work. So each episode, yes. you know, takes some time, uh, a couple months. It's, it's probably going to take for each of the last three episodes. So thank you for your patience, everybody. And you, um, you better hurry up. We, yeah, you better hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> we do get a few comments saying, you know, you, you're kind of, you're testing our you're patience testing here. Testing our but, patience. But it was well worth the wait is usually how comments like that end. So um, yes. we, we hope now, to keep it that way. One more, one more question that someone sent to us. Uh, are we going to, are we going to write a book about all this? You know. Oh. Uh, even if we did, it would be free. It would be free. It would be a free uh, printout. Yes. And once we're done with the series, one thing that I would like to do, if Father allows the time and the means, um, is as part of preparing for each episode, I have a ton of notes. And a lot of stuff doesn't even end up in the episode. Yes, indeed. So there's a lot of information that I could put together in into the website and there's probably enough information uh, to create a workbook a free workbook or something like that yes so once the series is over i'll, I'll maybe look into that as well as uh, uh, now uh, improving the paleo bible also some of you out there who do make books uh why not take our material and make it into a book and we don't mind if you make a book and sell it yeah our stuff is is free to use however free you to would use. like so. but we believe that those who who work at compiling uh, Father's information in a way that is presented uh, to the general public is great. So take our information and make a book. Uh, you can make the book and yeah. sell it any way you want. We don't mind. It's free. Uh, we can't charge you because we got it from Father. But but you got it from us, and we know it takes work to compile a book, and a workman is worth his wages. So, yes. Yes. So you may do it, but we won't. Right. There we go. Well, okay, uh, folks, we hope you enjoyed the Q&A, and uh, we'll be putting a, uh, a quick reminder of the Ten Commandments. Uh, they're now in uh, original Paleo-Hebrew. Yeah, we might do a short YouTube short. Do a short. little short on that. And uh, yes, Re Resh is coming. Working We're on working it. Working on it right now. Yes. We, I, 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 uh, I heard... Uh, I heard uh, Lisa say that we, we I think we found some relics, some uh, old oh, uh, good. some old stones. It's so been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while, but we're going to go out paleo stone, honey, paleo and maybe hunting. we'll find some resh. Sounds good. Okay. So, uh, peace unto you and shalom unto Jerusalem. Shalom, everybody. The Lord is patient and his love is kind. How I long to see the house of my God and King. How I love to see the house of my God and King. patient and his love is kind How I long to see the house of my God and King The Lord is patient and his love is For sure that the Lord will come We know for sure that He will save We know for sure He's our deliverer In these days What now has changed? He's still the Lord. He's 
same land. 